positives this week. I have been to the gym five days in a row this week, first time ever. Eat what makes you feel good. And you will see with, uh, with time, your body's gonna reject what is not good. Keep it simple, whatever makes you feel good, like that's how it should be. Eight out of the 15 days, I am so happy to see all the progress these girls are having, and we're gonna tell you our wins. So my wins so far, so I guess this is the end of week two. Um, so I have been more consistent in the gym, so starting this week, I've gone, or worked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. After Wednesdays, I, I needed a rest day, so I definitely rested yesterday. Um, and then I've also started logging my food again, so I'm keeping my journal of the food I'm eating um, and just being more mindful. So I haven't been perfect, but I've been more mindful of what I'm putting in my body and when and trying to increase my meals and adding more protein. The big thing was stop eating sweets. And I quit sugar five days ago, and it's been five days that I don't eat chocolate. Yay! Yay! Which is huge. <laughs> Huge like I feel right awesome by the way. Okay. I swear it's not even I'm not even kidding making this up, but I feel awesome. I feel so different. And I feel capable, you know. First day, I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. I shake I'm like I chocolate. <laughs> but by like yesterday I was already like, oh I'm okay, I don't need sugar. Oh I can live without it. Okay, this is good. This feels great. Oh, feels like great. you were able to take control. Yes, right? good yes. Job. Control. yes. Chocolate didn't have control. Yes, and I've been more to the gym. I already go to the gym every day, but today I did a little bit of my arms because I thought about the need and I'm like, I'm gonna work my arms <laughs> for my muscle to be like, hey, give me some food. <laughs> <laughs> and like let's burn more calories. That's Yay. awesome. Yay. I have my positives this week, I have been to the gym five days in a row this week, first time ever. So I'm um, trying to keep up with that. Last week it was four days in the week I went. Um, so I'm trying to really keep up. And I do have a fail. I made chocolate pudding. So, you know, I'm not perfect. I screw up and I did throw it away after I, I had a little bit. But that's a huge <laughs> win! No, I don't care about perfection. Progression, that's huge. Yeah. Would you have done that before? No. See? I would have been all gone. That's a huge win. I don't know so, about you. Yeah, other than that, though, that was my week, and I'm pretty happy for this week. So, day eight shrink your waist. Well, why this diet plan will help you lose weight and keep it off. Welcome to your new healthy lifestyle. Knowledge is power. I will try to teach you how to look at your plate and master what's important. The trick is to keep it simple and enjoy the food that is that is in your meal plan. Not perfection, let's start with progression. Anyone that does a quick, fi quick fix diet doesn't last. So celebrate your small wins. And Number two, throw out any food pyramid or diet advice given. Just keep it simple and look at only three things, protein, carbs, and fats. Yes, you can go out to eat. I will teach you how to pick the right foods for you. Oh, sorry, that was number three. Four, luck is the residue of design which means you have to design your day ahead of time to be able to get your dream. Your results aren't created from luck, but rather how you have designed them, designed this together. No more guessing what your next meal is, no more grabbing something from fast food, no more saying, I didn't make time. Plan, prepare, equal success. Knowledge. Macronutrients or macros are makes up the caloric content of food. The three categories of macros are protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Getting the right amount of these will determine whether you are building or losing muscle and whether you are putting, on, putting it on or losing fat. Protein, the building block of muscle. Protein contains aminos, which is directly linked to muscle cells development. In other words, no protein, no muscle. Tip. Muscles burn more calories than fat, so feed the muscles. Carbohydrates. The energy and protein protection, carbohydrates or carbs, are essential for having productive workouts and retaining muscle by aiding in repairing muscle with, with muscle glycogen. By maintaining a proper balance of carbs, your body will use less protein for energy, allowing you to retain muscle while training. Tip. Do not overdo your portion and slowly limit carb as the day goes on. Fats, the second source of energy. Your body uses fats as energy also. When you deprive your body of any nutrients, in turn, will make you store other sources as fat. Carbs, thinking that it will need the fat for later in order to regulate body temperature. Fats are also used to regulate insulin 
levels when taking appropriately. Water. A gallon of water a day helps keep you full, flush your system, increase your metabolism and other benefits. One gallon is roughly 10 glasses of water. I, didn't, I don't think I realized that that's why I needed to drink a gallon of water. I was like, I thought you were just telling me for just for the hell of it. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense now. Condiments. Reduce, limit, no barbecue sauce, ketchup or salad dressing, or anything with high sugar, high sugar or fructose. Yes, hot sauce, Cholula, Tapacho, Franks, seasoning, spice, seasonings, spice, cinnamon, stevia, and mustard. I struggle with, with the barbecue sauce and the salad dressing, but I definitely appreciate the limiting it versus saying no and then slowly kind of titrating that out. Deuce, limit, or no. Dairy, milk and cheese, alcohol, sugar, white flour, processed food, and fast food. If you struggle with these things, please prepare your meals ahead of time and don't get frustrated. You have one bite of cheesecake instead of the whole thing. One of the biggest things that I learned working with, with, my, with my girls on diet was when they become too overwhelmed. So what happens is you hear a diet tip from this person and a diet tip from this person and then you have that food pyramid and then you have this what you've heard from your dad and your mom and then you have this from one trainer and this from another trainer and all of a sudden you're just like, ah, I'm getting my donut, just leave me alone. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? That's the way I felt. And yeah. I love how she just broke it down and she just said, you know what? Keep it simple, whatever makes you feel good, like that's how it should be. And I think that's awesome. Like I would even incorporate that right in the, to the top headline yeah. there. I think that's perfect. Yeah. Cool. When she said that, it made me like go, oh, Yeah. This is so simple. Yeah, take, it should be very simple. It really honestly should. At the end of the day, it should be very simple um, and, and knowledge more than anything. So you're reading through this and just growing knowledge and don't beat yourself up over something that, for example, did you hear exactly what Stacey did? I, I, I had a win but I failed. Stop. You did not fail. Did you immediately, did you see how I corrected her? But you only had one bite of that and then you tossed the rest of the way. How was last year? Did you do that? Yeah, man. So think about it, okay? Yeah. So that is definitely a win. The fact that I say on here, limit to eventually no, right? That right there is progression. Yeah. And you have to reward yourself for those small little changes. Otherwise, you're gonna think, oh, I failed. And then you're gonna go down that dark path and think that you're never gonna build yourself back up. And then right. we are gonna go ahead and go into our abs workout. So because we learned about the Small Ways Diet Program, we're going to do an ab workout today. We're gonna be using our bands that you can get on bootybands.com to get yours. We're using the level one, which is the purple, the smallest, the easiest one I guess you could say for today's workout. We will be showing an advanced version up on the bar and we'll be showing a modification that's done on the ground and those would be I guess you could say they're they're like a resistance on your abs on that. Um, so that will be time that will be one minute. On the uh, second one we're gonna go into planks and you can be rocking your hips side to side for one minute and uh, next we're gonna go down onto our back. We got bicycles that you're gonna do for one minute. And then the last one is a freebie, so for one minute. So that's a total of four minutes of a circuit. We're gonna complete that for three times, really engaging through the core. And what I'm gonna be noticing is just kind of helping any form that I see, if your back's popping up or anything like that, I'm gonna make sure that everything's tucked in and nice and tight. So let's do it. You're gonna put just around the top part of your feet. And what you are is you're just here to here. Crunch. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. That's for one minute. After that, we're gonna go into a plank. <clears throat> you're up here, so your shoulders are right underneath your elbows, or I'm sorry, on top of your elbows, and you're just going side to side, or you can go forward or back, and you have a total of one minute. After that, we're gonna go into our bicycles. So here, crossing. What I'm looking for is that you're not doing shallow bicycles, but you're really opening up, keeping your lower back. And if your lower back is hurting, we're here, right? That's our modification. So a little bit simpler, you can also keep your knees bent. And this is more advanced as you're going through here. And the last one is completely your choice for one minute. Crazy. It could be little pulses. It could be whatever you want. I will help boost you up. works. What did 
one is you want to keep your arms and your lats nice and tight so you're not swaying back and forth and you're using the resistance of the band using your core to pull it up and you feel it it's awesome core you're going to be squeezing pulling up while the other one pushes down good good you're not even swaying at all 20 more seconds good really pull it in and pull it out perfect that looks awesome 10 more seconds those are good five four three i'm gonna let amy down first here we go sue there you go push this way to put like her exactly did you get that so it's it's basically like a, a pushing away and also pulling towards and you're using that pull for a second so you can really feel it good cool i like it awesome let's go ahead and go into our next one so we're on to plank tapping into your transverse here so i'm really looking at um that your belly is nice and tucked in up to your spine i want you to really focus on your core here we want to get nice, good, strong cores because if we do that, then we'll have nice, good uh, uh, toned backs. So being able to hold us and keep us structured, less pain, everything else. There's a lot of injuries that happen when we don't have a strong core. Those are great. So keep going. You can also go forward and back. Love it, Amy. Those are great. And you've got 20 more seconds. Stay positive. Keep thinking about good things, what you learned today. 10 more seconds, keep breathing. Five, four, good. Take a little breather here, rest it out. like this one with the um, with the band on my knees if you want for the uh, bicycle you can also do it without your choice again really kind of think of that push pull type feel great job okay I'm gonna go ahead and start the minute this one was not bicycles it was bicycles. Oh, it was bicycles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, and go. Awesome. So really opening that chest up. The best thing that I learned about core was that it wasn't just some fast movement that I wasn't really focused in. Really focus in, and I want you to feel how tight your abs are getting. Every time you're doing a core exercise, you're gonna get stronger and stronger. Every rep will take you there. Yes, it's taking time. So your transformations right now are gonna take time, but you're gonna look back at every single workout that you've ever done and be like, you know what, I appreciate it. Those look awesome. And you got 20 more seconds, keep breathing. Good, love that you're really opening your chest. You're keeping your lower backs on the ground. Good, tap into that lower core. That's where that stubborn fat likes to stay. 10 more seconds. Great job and stop. Take a little breather. Wow, burning already. And here's their creative ab minute starting now. So what the girls are doing here is they're just getting creative and they're gonna do, um, just kind of show you some fun examples of other ways that they like to work their core. Um, so at home, I want you to do the same thing, get a little creative with yours and find what challenges you. They're already burning in their core right now. I love Suzanne at the very end over there. She's doing an alternating rotating plank. I think that's so awesome. It's so good for your entire core. You're rotating through your obliques all the way through the center as well. Stacy has one leg propped on the other one. It actually is really challenging to do this type of leg lift because the weight of that leg is definitely challenging that one side of her core. And as you notice right here, Amy's doing mountain climbers with the band, which is putting the resistance on there. And you're up, good job. 10 seconds extra. So now take your time. I would go into child pose, cobra, grab some water. See, you kind of pulled into your lats already. That was awesome. And begin. Good, perfect. 
Good. Awesome. Stacy's got it too, so here's our modification right over here. She's keeping her lower back right onto the mat as she's using that push-pull, that resistance of the band for her core. Good work. 30 seconds in, you got 30 seconds left. Stay with me, stay with me. Good. Your grip is probably going to be the one that falls first, huh? <laughs> okay, and you're done. I'll drop you on down. I, I couldn't. Yep. <laughs> it's a lot better too when you have gloves on, but three, go. Awesome. So what I'm looking for here is those elbows are right underneath your shoulder. Did you know that planks are working not only your upper body, your core, it's also working your back and it's working your legs. The plank burns so many calories. I know it's totally an uncomfortable movement, but the more and more that you continue doing it, the better and better it's gonna to start to be able to, to feel. You'll feel more comfortable. Notice they're going side to side, so when they're doing that, they're tapping a little bit more into their obliques, kind of going from one end to the other. And then eventually they're gonna move forward and back. Again, that's working a lot of their arms, so they're gonna feel and see some nice good definition up into their shoulders. And they got 15 seconds left. They're gonna think about that small waist. They're gonna think about how they're gonna eat because diet is so important for small waist. And they're also gonna put that lean, tight muscle on there. And you guys are done. Good, take a little breather. It's in the music right now. Unts, 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 unts. Okay, and go ahead. <laughs> Those look great. So what I'm looking for, do you see Amy's um, as she has a really wide opening. She's not narrow and she's not making anything shallow. What it is, she's just really shrink wrapping that waist by doing a cross from one end all the way to the other and one all the way to the other. So thinking about a cross through your core, it's like imagining that you're having a, a dish towel or a towel and you're wringing it out. It's kind of like the, the uh, vision I give girls anytime they're doing that crossing motion. So don't make it shallow, making it nice and wide. It'll look perfect. All of you, good. Jeez, these look better than mine. Ah. And you got 10 more seconds. Stay strong, keep breathing, don't hold that breath. Slow and controlled, way better than fast on these. And you're done, take a little breather. So we have Amy doing side oblique lifts. And what that's working is her bottom oblique. So right underneath here is that oblique is what's working. If she's going too fast, she actually won't feel it as much. So the fact that she's going nice, slow and controlled, she's gonna get a real nice burn. Stacy's over here doing Superman. So you'll notice Superman is all into your low back. So is your low back a core? Yes. So don't always think the core is always the front. You wanna make sure that you're hitting all different sides. So obliques, your lower back and also your front. We have Suzanne over here and she's doing alternating leg lifts along with her hand raising in, in planks. And what this does is this is really, really challenging the core because she's having to use her stabilizer muscles as well as balance or to help her balance. So a really good intense one there. And take a breather, good job. Last round. They're doing so awesome and they're showing us such different varieties that they can do. And uh, you'll see over here, so we have Stacy completely lying down doing the modification and we have Suzanne actually lifted up into a crunch during the modification. So the fact that she even tried it was phenomenal and then I told Stacy, hey, eventually you'll be up on that bar, huh? We don't say never. Good job. One minute. And the next time you do this workout, it'll be two minutes. <laughs> right, so um, basically if this is a very challenging workout for you, then you'll continue to stay at one minute through the four. If you wanna get a little bit more progression, you're gonna take this exercise that I'm gonna write and you're gonna put two minutes next to it, right? 
You're halfway done, by the way. Stay strong. Increasing our metabolism. Getting tighter, getting stronger. 10 more seconds. Amy, lift one leg up. I wanna see, there we go. And then lift the other leg up. Good, alternating like that, perfect. And stop, good job. <laughs> Take a little breather, grab some water. So that completes our day eight. It was awesome to see that the girls were learning different fun things with the booty band. So if you wanna try these fun exercises and adding that resistance with your core, you can get booty bands at bootybands.com and watch for day nine. We're so excited. We're gonna actually learn about the different areas of the muscles and the glutes. We're gonna learn about the medius and how to really lift that booty of yours.